Using weight maps when texturing can be a powerful way to control your surfaces. In this video, I'd like to show you how we can use one weight map to have multiple surface attributes on one surface. Uh, we'll use this object right here, and right now, this object has four surfaces. We can either go over to the surface editor here, and we can see the four surfaces, or we can go to W for statistics, and where it says surf, we can see the four surfaces and how many polygons uh, each surface uh, has. So what we're going to do is uh, wipe away all these surfaces, but, in, but before we do that, let's take advantage of them to create our weight map. So I'm going to come down here to W for weight map and choose new and we'll give it a name. I'm just going to call this color because we're going to use this weight map to apply uh, different uh, color attributes. And for initial value, make sure that's turned off. It doesn't really matter if it's turned on. You just have to take away and change some of the value. So I'm going to have no initial value and hit create. Okay. I'm going to switch this top view over to perspective and weight shade so that we can get an idea of what we're doing. Okay, so I'm going to break each one of these uh, different colors into a different value on this weight map because remember a weight map is just um, a scalar value. It's from 0 to 1. You can go negative and you can go above 100, but let's just work within the range. It's just a, a 0 to 1 value that we're looking for. So I'm going to select the car base, which is this darker color, and let's give it a value. So I'm going to come over to the map tab, set map value, and for the value I'm going to type in a hundred percent. So it's got a hundred percent, it's a really bright orange. I'm going to deselect that, and I, I just deselected that by uh, clicking over here in the gray. You can use the uh, forward slash as the shortcut key, or you can go over to the view tab, but uh, any of those uh, methods work. Let's select the lighter green here and to, what I'm doing to select I'm just using my statistics window selecting the surface here and then clicking this little plus sign and I can grab all the geometry it's just a fast way of selecting when you have it broken up into different surfaces okay so with that selected set map value and let's make this 75 percent so it's a lighter shade of orange uh, you can really see it comparing the tire here to uh, the car base here Let's go over to, say, um, car gray. And that's just these areas right here uh, at the front of the car. And we'll set map value, and let's set that to 50%. And for the white areas, I could give it a map value, uh, you know, a weight map value, but we'll just leave it at zero. And we'll take it, you know, we'll know that those points, uh, the points weighted on. Uh, you know with this weight map is at a value of zero and we'll need to we'll need to know that but it'll stop us from having to, to add any value to that other than zero okay so now that I have my weight map set up and uh, I could keep adding I don't have to limit it to four different um, surface attributes I could uh, keep going and have a hundred if I wanted or 200 but we'll just work with these four and uh, let's wipe away the all the surface information here. We're going to keep the weight map, but Q for change surface. And I'm just going to change this to car color. And we'll use default gray. We'll have smoothing on it. Okay. So as we can see, this object has one surface and one weight map. Okay. So it's not multiple surfaces, just one surface, one weight map. And the weight map has multiple weight map values. Um, you know, the points are, are separated up like we did. So I'm going to save this off. Car, and we'll call this car weight 001. I like a version number on there. Save. And let's send that over to layout. Okay, so we've got it over in layout. And, and I'm just going to rotate the car. And I'm going to rotate the light. And just so that when we go to render, uh, it doesn't have a black background, I'm going to come over to Windows, Backdrop Options, and I'm going to choose, well, let's not choose white because we're going to have a white surface in there. Uh, we'll just choose yellow, just so it's something bright. 
Okay, and let's do a render. Wow, that's really bright, but it'll work. But let's get closer to the car. So shift C for camera, T for move, and we're just gonna move in real close, F9, and there we go, just gray. But we're gonna, we're gonna dress this up. So we're gonna come over to the surface editor, make sure we choose the only surface that we have, turn on the node editor, we're gonna activate it here, edit nodes. I'm gonna go ahead and close down the surface editor just don't need it open anymore because I've got the node editor. And let's, we're going to need a couple components. I'm going to start by getting that weight map. So vertex map, weight map, double click. A lot of people when they're setting this up, they forget to actually choose the weight map. Make sure you do choose the weight map. It's not going to automatically know. And then we'll come over to gradient and add a gradient. And I'm going to use my weight map as my input parameter. And I'm going to feed the color into color right now the car will be 100% black if we render, unless we go double click and we use our uh, keys here to change it. So zero, well, we remember that zero was going to be the white keys. Let's add another key. I just click on here and then come over to my position and type in 0.5, which would be 50%. And I believe that was our gray. And then I'm going to Key, add another key and we'll put that at 0.75 which is 75 percent and I believe that was our light gray sorry our light green so I'll come over there and then we'll add one more key and put that at one which is a hundred percent and we'll pick a that darker green that we have okay so let's do a render and then we'll take a, a look at what's what's going on okay so I have my multiple surfaces and what's happening here, I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. What's happening here is it's using the weight map values to drive the gradient. So where we have points select with the weight map value of zero, well, they're going to be textured white. Where we have them at uh, textured 50%, that's going to be here with gray, 75%. So it's reading the weight map value and applying the surfaces. Now what's really cool is we can keep adding more and more detail. We're not limited to just these colors. We can use these in other channels as well. But if we wanted the, let's just say we wanted the the base car, which I just move and put that back at one. If I show output, and I can do that for each one of these keys, it adds an input channel here, which allows me to plug anything I want into that. So I could come over here, 3D texture, and choose crackle, plug that into the color, and when I go to do my render, it's going to use that for that key. So, and I could have entire flows of, of all types of different surfacing going into that one key putting here. I can plug an image map into that, anything I want. So this is just a quick look. Let me go ahead. I'm going to remove crackle, okay, just so that we can look at the base setup so that there's no confusion. I'm going to open this up. And this is our, our base setup. Uh, I'm going to turn the show output off and uh, I'm going to fit this onto the screen. So the last thing that we see is the actual setup, something like this. Okay, so using this gradient and this weight map, we're able to break up one surface using one weight map to have multiple surface attributes.